The city of Bartlesville is working to balance its budget. The sales tax check for November was down nearly 11 percent, and the numbers don't appear to be getting better anytime soon. This time last year, we began to, our sales tax began to a, a downturn, and for the last 10 months in a row, 10 consecutive months in a row, we've had negative sales tax. It started slowly at first, just several percentage points down, and then progressively it's gotten worse and worse. So now the city is making dramatic cuts to deal with the shortfall. Beginning next month, more than 20 directors and supervisory staff members will be furloughed one day a month for seven months. It'll save the city about $5,000 per month. The city manager, Ed Gordon, will be one of the furloughed employees. I think it's important that if we're going to make sacrifices, if we're going to be asked to give up, I think the leadership should give up first, not last. Gordon says the city may have to look at additional cutbacks after the first of the year if sales tax revenues continue to fall. The city is looking at other ways of cutting costs, including a hiring freeze and possibly a reduction of police fleet to a shared car system. Bartlesville Police Chief Tom Holland says they are preparing for the worst, and they've already found 11 vehicles that they can do without. We're prepared right now to, um, to uh, um, reduce by those 11 vehicles. In the budget, we have uh, six vehicles we're supposed to be buying this year. I would like to give those back to the city, not go through that purchase. Holland says no one wants to sacrifice public safety, but he says they have never been in this situation before and are not sure what kind of sacrifices will need to be made. We always look for efficiencies, even in good years. But we knew that uh, tough times were coming. We could tell the pattern from the reduced sales tax. Gordon says in his 18 years, the budget has never been this tight, but he is optimistic. While we're down economically, we're not in a crisis mode. And I think it's prudent planning on the part of the city council, uh, the employees and the staff of the city of Bartlesville have uh, led us to this place where we can weather this storm and we'll get through this storm together. The city is also considering new ways of generating income, including $5 service fees added on utility bills. In Bartlesville, I'm Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma okay, so News Report.